Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for August 14th. We're looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair moved to the upside, surged to the upside, broke through previous areas of resistance. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 79.19, possibly as low as 77.96. Look for some resistance around 78.95 and look for some support around 78.50. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair closed down, surged higher, moved higher, closed lower though. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 124.33, possibly as low as 122.21. Look for some resistance around 12400 and look for some support around 122.55. Now the pound US dollar pair moved higher, broke through previous uh, previous high did close lower however we are looking for it to potentially go as high as 157.76 possibly as low as 155.88 look for some resistance around 157.25 and look for some support around 156.25 now the US Swiss this pair closed higher during today's session look for it to potentially go as high as 098.11 possibly as low as 1096.59. Look for some resistance around 097.95 and look for some support around 096.95. This pair of course is uh, overall moving to the downside um, long, long term to the downside currently uh, kind of oscillating back and forth between this range. Okay, let's talk about news announcements. We do have uh, some news announcements going into this next session. At 4.30 a.m. Eastern, we have the Bank of England minutes being released. Uh, we also have their jobless claims change for July at 4.30 a.m. Eastern. Uh, consensus on that is that it's dropped from 6.1K down to 6.0K. Then we have the U.S. Consumer Price Index being released at 8.30 a.m. Eastern for July. Uh, make sure to keep an eye on that. That's a big one. Uh, they're showing a slight drop potentially from 1.7% down to 1.6%, which would uh, be good news for the U.S. dollar. Okay, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, if we go over to the Euro USD pair, uh, this pair did move higher during this last, uh, during this session, kind of broke through. We are uh, it, it did top the high but pulled back. Let's zoom out a little ways. You can see long term that we came right, right, uh, came real close to hitting a long term trend line there. Right here, here, and here. However, we are long, uh, the most recent long term uh, is to the upside. So I'm still looking for it to. Uh, move higher unless we get a break below this trend line at that point we get a close below it then we're moving to the downside again let's take a look at the pound pound continues to consolidate uh, it's amazing to me that it has consolidated for so long uh, we are looking for it to break out of that consolidation at some point it just has not happened as of yet so still looking for a strong move uh, most likely to the upside. Not positive that that's the case, but um, a break above the, a close above the 157.73 mark would definitely tell me that we are heading higher. Now, on the same, uh, or on the, the flip side of that coin, if we get a break uh, below currently, below the basically the 154.97 mark, uh, at that point we are definitely heading lower. U.S. Japanese yen pair is slightly moving higher very slowly um, more of a sideways action by uh, by and large uh, but nonetheless is still moving a little bit sideways. Let's take a look at the euro. Uh, the U.S. Swiss this pair overall been moving down really long term moving up uh, we'd need a break above our trend line here or close above it to look for it to move higher. New Zealand, U.S. dollar pair moving higher. Past couple of sessions, 
you can see we have had a pullback might be a good time since we're getting close to this trend line to look for a reversal uh, getting somewhat close to it look for it to continue down if it gets close to this trend line look for it to move higher and last let's take a look at the Australian US dollar pair uh, definitely have some carry influences here it's had a nice strong move to the upside over the past several several months let's back out even further currently we have, if we tag the high here, you can see that we've run into previous areas of support, which are now resistance. And it has pulled back. As long as we don't pull back below this trend line at that point, we should see a reversal and move higher. So keep an eye on this pair. This one, because of the carry influence, has the strongest appeal to me, looking for it to move to the upside. Currently we are roughly about 74 pips from the trend line and about uh, 131 from this breakout point. So look for it to move higher. You could do one of two things. You could look to buy in probably at this floor when the price hits this point or hits the trend line. Let's go ahead and put that floor there. Look to buy if it comes on down this week to 10434. Use a stop loss here at uh, 10415. Fairly tight stop loss. And then look for it to exit at 10615. And this would be a very, very nice trade, risk to reward wise. Uh, and you have the carry influence to back it up. Well, I hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.